Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are. I'm Hilary Weaver, and I would like to welcome you to World Social Work Day. I'm going to share a few reflections as an Indigenous person on our theme of respecting diversity through joint social action. I'm speaking to you from Onondawaga Territory. Onondawaga are also known as the Seneca. I am in Western New York and the territory also extends up into Southern Ontario in Canada. I am Lakota. We are one of the largest um, Native American groups in the United States, although there are also Lakota people in Canada. I have lived in Onondawaga territory for most of my adult life. So I am bicultural as an indigenous person. I live my life as traditionally as possible, but within an urban context as many indigenous people do. I'm a community member, I am a parent. You see the picture of me in my dance regalia with my children. And I am a proud social worker. I have never changed my major in college. I have remained a social worker all my life. And the theme of respecting diversity through joint social action really resonates with me. Another role that I carry is I serve as the Global Indigenous Commissioner for the International Federation of Social Workers. As some of you may know, we are a relatively new commission. The Indigenous Commission has existed for just a couple of years, but many years of activism went into creating this commission. And now, like all commissions through IFSW, we have representation from North America, from South America and the Caribbean, from Europe, from Africa, and from Asia Pacific. In many ways, I think it's the epitome of the theme of respecting diversity through joint social action. When our commission was formed and people spoke to me about what it would be like, nobody told me we had to be like the other commissions. It was clear that we could remain as indigenous social workers with our own ways of, of doing things, our own value system. And that brought a richness to IFSW, to our profession. With this commission, there became a place for Indigenous peoples within IFSW. And there is also a place for Indigenous knowledges within the social work profession. So there was respect for our diversity. And that diversity really makes us stronger through our joint action. The Indigenous Commission is using the theme of incorporating Indigenous knowledges and approaches into social work practice and education for 2023. So that guides much of our, our work. And we're approaching this theme in collaboration with the IFSW Education Commission. Because again, through joint social action, we are stronger. And for those of you that haven't taken a look at the global definition of, of social work in a while, I've put this up as, as a reminder. Indigenous knowledge is listed as one of the four underpinnings of our social work profession. It's part of the definition. So it's something that we can all draw on in our work. The theme for today really resonates with Indigenous values. While Indigenous peoples are very, very diverse, we do have a common set of values around relationship, around connection, reciprocity, collaboration. So we tend to be very collectivist in, in our orientation and, and very inclusive. So that's inclusive of different age groups, of different genders, of all sorts of differences. Because differences are not deficits. Our differences give us a way to balance. Our identity is shaped by the collective. And that, in turn, makes us stronger being part of this group. 
Some of you may have heard of the idea of the seven generations, which is a common idea in many Native American cultures, and I think expressed in other cultures as well. I know that I am here today because seven generations ago, my ancestors planned for me. They planned so that some land would be retained, some culture would be retained, some spiritual traditions would be retained, and that enables me to exist as a contemporary Indigenous person. In turn, I have the responsibilities for the generations to come. I must plan for the children of my children of my children down to the seven generations. We have this sense of connection. We have this value of diversity. So the theme for World Social Work Day of respecting diversity through joint social action really resonates with the Indigenous Commission and with Indigenous peoples around the world. I do want to remind you that Indigenous knowledge is not just for Indigenous people. It's for all of us in our shared world, because we have a shared future and a shared interest in our well-being. Indigenous people don't live in a vacuum. We are part of your world, of our world. And we have something to offer. I, I do think that some members of the scientific community have um, been a little more quick to embrace Indigenous knowledge than social work has particularly people concerned about climate change, our, our changing planet. They know that Indigenous peoples have wisdom and knowledge to draw on. Well, we as social workers need to remember that as well. It's an important part of our toolkit as social workers. It's an important part of our repertoire. So if we know some Indigenous knowledge, we can incorporate it as is appropriate with our clients. It's not appropriate in every circumstance, but it's something that we can draw on. And that will enable us to respect diversity through joint social action. I encourage us to bundle our arrows. There are Haudenosaunee teachings of bundled arrows, and I think similar teachings among other peoples as well. If you look at one arrow or one stick, it can you can easily break that. One is not strong. If you take two or three or four or five, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy came together, a group of five nations allied, stronger together. You could not break the five arrows. The United States borrowed this model. If you look at a a dollar bill, the currency of the United States, you will see there is an eagle with five arrows that cannot be broken. We are stronger together. We as social workers know this. We know about collaboration. We know about respecting diversity. And I, for one, have always appreciated the diversity within our profession. We don't all need to be clinicians. We don't all need to be policy analysts. We don't all need to work with elders or work with children. But because there are social workers doing all of these things, all these diverse roles, we are stronger together. So I'm going to wrap up my, my welcome at this point because you have other, um, other content that, that you're going to be listening to related to respecting diversity through joint social action. It's a powerful theme, it's a powerful prof profession, and I hope you get some sustenance from today. I'm proud to be with you. We are stronger together. Pilamaya, thank you in my Lakota language. Pilamayaye. Mm -hmm.